What's up? It's your boy Rampage Jackson. We're here with Bear. We got our first guest, H2O Seal. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. Wait. Hey, thank you for being here on Fade on Sight because he he showed me something. You be giving out fades all the time. Yep. Uh, I got a fight coming up uh, August fifth on the Zone. So I mean, you'll see another one if you tune in and watch that. I'm gonna watch. It. I'm gonna watch it. I seen you knock out two people so far. I was. What what am I? 10, 10, 10 and no, nine knockouts. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Who, who, who's who's the guy that, that went the distance? Who was that? My last fight. My last fight. Um, kind of stalled him out a little bit. I just wanted to get some rounds in. Mm -hmm. Try to take him out at the end of the round, but uh, he was a pretty a tough opponent at the same time. So. Yeah, and and also I, I I'm just I haven't seen the fight, but you know me being a fighter, I, I know sometimes people, if you let them hang around. A long time, they, they're confident. Yeah, they get real confident. They get real confident. Yeah, yeah. yeah but with him uh, this time, that's all I was trying not to do at the same time. But with him, um, I'll break him down between the rounds. Yeah. So like he his confidence is built up a little bit. He throw a few shots, and then I try to break him down. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was just really trying to get some round, rounds in. So for later on, when I get to those twelve round fights and stuff like that, you know, I'm you know pretty much used to it. Yeah, fans don't understand that. But even though I never had a boxing match before, mm -hmm. but I, I do understand like sometimes you don't want to knock people out right mm -hmm. right away yeah. because you want to get that experience. Definitely. I mean, tra training camp is is something similar to the actual fight, but it's not the actual fight. You know, it's it's a whole different ball game when you're in the ring. Now, I, I really want, I want to ask you. I always I always ask boxers this: is mm -hmm. it, Do you really like? Um, like put the girls away for training camp because MMA is different. For, like for boxing, do you really like not have sex for like two months, three <laughs> yeah. months before you fight? Yeah. That's majority something. People, majority of people, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you got you ever had sex before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You look kind of young. Yeah, nineteen years old. You're nineteen, yeah, 19. and so you're yeah. not already done that. Yeah. But when you fight, you just put it away. You Pretty don't much, yeah. You focused. Yeah. Nothing. You lock in for the most. You be knocking time. people out every fight. You got right here. But I still stay as like a you know. Um, I always try to still. You know, stay at, like as a kid, yeah. um, have fun through, throughout the training kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't try to get too much in my head, but yeah. for certain things, yeah, you got to stay locked in. Man, I can tell you, I tried that one time, but not by force. I was married, right? Uh -huh. And my ex-wife, my wife at the time, had just had a, you know, she just had my kid, yeah, my yeah. son. Uh -huh. So I couldn't do nothing with her for, for like, what, six weeks. Mm -hmm. And then I had a fight within that time. Yeah. And I remember... I remember that that was the meanest I ever was in a fight. But in between rounds, I yeah. was looking at the ring girls. Yo. And, you, know, and, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a, I'm a married man. Like, yeah, when, yeah. I was, when I was married, I didn't cheat on my wife. Yeah. I wouldn't, normally, I wouldn't even look at girls. But uh -huh. I remember looking at the ring girls. They weren't even attractive. They were like, you know, in Japan, it was like bony-ass Asian girls, you know? And I remember I was mean. I, was I, mean I thought you told me you like Asian girls. I do. I, listen, I love all women. And Asian women uh, are my favorite. Yeah. You know, I married one. They yeah. are my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the little skin and balls. Yeah. But, but you got a girl? Yeah. Yeah. You saw, you saw oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do she get mad when you don't, you know, when you take that little break? From, from nah, that? honestly, no. She, she's pretty chill. Pretty yeah. chill. First. You got to focus on the fight? Yeah. I think she's where she knew it knows it kind of comes with the territory and stuff. So, yeah. so how long is it? Two months you, you'll put it away? Uh, kind of, yeah, probably a month. Probably two, almost two. Yeah. yeah, and just stay focused. Yeah, and your, and your dad's your trainer too. Yeah, how's that? It's pretty cool, honestly. Um, I feel like I feel like he kind of know me inside out, so um, I feel like he knows what I'm doing at home and what I'm doing, you know, at the gym. So he kind of could dial in on when I when I'm training or in a fight. He knows exactly what's going on. Mm. Uh, other than like you know, other trainers probably. They probably know a lot about their fighters and stuff, but certain things like they're away from the fighters, probably outside of the gym. My dad's pretty much with me all the time, so like I said, he know me inside and out the ring. Bro, that's beautiful because I got a son that's just not getting into um, MMA. He um, he's four and zero as an amateur, but he won't listen to shit I say. He won't listen to nothing I say. Uh, he he want to do the exact opposite of everything I say, and I'm I'm thinking about just like. I you, uh, you coach him too? Or no, you, no, I don't coach him though. I don't, I don't coach him. He oh, got, but you try to give him tips or advice? Yeah, so I, just don't listen. yeah I try to give him tip advice on, on the business part mm -hmm. and like on the stuff that uh, a lot of stuff that I made mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I try to, you know, tell him the easiest way to cut weight, do yeah. all these things like his diet and everything. He won't listen. I got, I got, a, I got, a, I did a deal with a manager, uh, with my manager when I signed a contract with him. Uh, years ago, I mm -hmm. said, "I right, if my son become a fighter, I want you to uh, if you manage him, I want you to manage him, but only charge him five percent 
in MMA, 10% standard. Yeah. And I was like, man, you get, and the manager I signed with, he's the best manager in, in MMA. Because um, he's really, he's in good with Dana White. Yeah. Dana White don't like a lot of managers. No. So if you got a yeah. manager Dana White don't like, oh, he fucked. And so, That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm like, man, my manager is really good. This, he don't want my manager. I'm with this new show called the UFL, and they giving fighters like um, benefits. Uh, I heard of the, yeah, yeah, I yeah. heard of the, yeah, I've been watching a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. He he's like, I, I don't want to go there. I want to go straight to Bellator. And I'm like, I'm about to. And he 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 um a vegan. He won't eat mm. meat. I said, man, you got to eat meat. Before yeah, him, I, I feel the same way about like people eating. I mean, vegan, that, especially a fighter. Yeah, it's like you need you need protein. Yeah, but he, anything I say, he won't listen to me, bro. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, but your dad's your boxing trainer, your dad, your manager. He always with yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much. He, they got a great dynamic, though. That's, See, what's, yeah, that's what makes him so special. He got a great like, dynamic. Thank you. Respect. Thank you. Respect, yeah. It's interesting, too, because you signed with Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. You know Jake Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you could beat him in a fight? Jake in a Paul, boxing fight? <laughs> if I lost 100 pounds, <laughs> if I lost 100 pounds, man, I would, I would hurt Jake Paul's feelings. But... Jake Paul, man, I, I'm impressed with his boxing, though. I have to say, are you impressed with his boxing? Yeah, no, I am. Yeah, yeah. I am. Even kind of talking to him the first time. Because he said he only been boxing for about three years, but he's, like, very, like, intelligent and yeah. kind of about the sport and kind of knows different parts. But I think when he's in the ring, it's just a whole different game from, you know, knowing it and actually trying to apply it in the ring. But yeah. his skills is... Yeah. It's pretty decent. I mean, he fighting Nate Diaz. That's that's one of your yeah. USC brothers right there. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You know I'm you know I'm always gonna root for the yeah. MMA guy. I know I know. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think I think Nate can come with the upset. So my take on this fight, I think it's really stupid for Jake Paul to fight Nate at this mm -hmm. time. I think it's a big risk because Nate has been training boxing a lot, even though it's not just hundred percent boxing MMA, mm -hmm. our boxing is a little bit different, but he's just coming off a loss. Right? Yeah. So true. so think about if I I feel like with Jake Paul's brand, if he if he takes two L's back to back, his his fan base will yeah. drop. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But I think I I feel like I feel like just with his his presence, he's gonna bring some attention. Yeah. I know his fan base is probably gonna move away. Like they're start gonna drift away from at least the the boxing supporters. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. so like now he's gonna have his um, his other fan base like YouTuber or whatever else yeah. it is, but. I still believe him in his fight, though. I feel. Um, you think it's a good matchup from? Yeah, it's a good matchup. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. But you watch him train. I don't think Nate going down easy, and I don't think people kind of say like you know. I don't think uh, Nate going down easily. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, Silva was old, or um, the other MMA fighters. I think Diaz is pretty pretty decent. The only thing people probably could say is like you know he probably never had a boxing match. Or I'm gonna tell you this though, real talk. The whole time I thought all those fighters were taking a dive. I, I, in a bit, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a bit of them. Yeah, I thought they were losing I, I, I on purpose it to until his, until his last fight with Fury. Yeah, because um, I've seen like I've never seen Fury fight. I have seen clips. I'm like, man, Fury sucks. Yeah. I'm like, this yeah. dude sucks. But then when he when he fought uh, Jake Paul, he looked pretty good. I'm yeah, like, damn, yeah, I was yeah. wrong. But am I am I wrong? Have you did you guys see his his, his clips? Yeah, his his his, his yeah, fight. Before, with... Only other fight uh, when he fought Willie when he knocked Willie out. Like for a second, I I, I didn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. me and Willie pretty close. So. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that. that. One I, 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 thought it was, yeah. I thought it was. That I thought it was a dive. That but, one hurt. But but you could hear the sound of the punch. Like it was. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is why I thought. This is why I thought it was a dive. I thought that they had to do it really smart. I thought that Willie knew that he was going to get hit right, and mm -hmm. he was going to take a, take one because you know we fighters. You know we know we can take <laughs> yeah, one sometimes. True. But that one was just. It was just. It <laughs> put was, too much steam on it. It put too much steam on because he was going to go down no matter what. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was gonna go down no matter what. So that's why I thought. Yeah, he's gonna but that was a good one and, and they really knocked him out. So I um, felt you know. So do you think do you think now Jake actually won those fights? Yeah, no, nah, I think cause yeah. his cause cause if he was paying them people off to take dives, why wouldn't he pay uh Fury? That's Fury yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we, we also saw Dana White saying that he wanted to see John Jones versus Tyson Fury, something like that, the baddest man on the planet. Yeah. What you think about that? In the in the boxing, yeah. I think Tyson Tyson's just pretty much too big. Like like yeah. he's 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 a big and a skillful fighter. It's kind of hard. Like even Wilder, you know, mm -hmm. like he's one of the, like the hardest boxing uh, punchers, especially nowadays. Dudes. Yeah, but he got up from that that one amazing punch and still mm -hmm. was able to manage throughout all the rounds. So yeah, I, I I didn't like Tyson Fury honestly. Or, wow. um Yeah, Tyson. But now nah, like he made me kind of a believer. Like yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think he is like one of the you baddest boxers on the planet. You didn't like him when he went against Wilder at first, mm -hmm. huh? Why? Mm -hmm. Why you didn't like him? I just, 
You was a little bit racist. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> real. Nah, nah. I just like, yeah, I guess you kind of outgrown with the yeah, the, yeah. Know, and that's but, snap, that's natural. Yeah, you might yeah. as well like, yeah, it, like the British people was yeah, on his side. Yeah, 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 I understand. And I was at that fight too. So we had the British, the UKers yeah, come yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. It was all night. They wild. Yeah. yeah, wild. yeah. Wild. UK wild, wild that yeah. fight. Yeah. yeah. I was I was going for Wilder as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was. I was going for Wilder as well. And when when uh, Tyson Fury he got up, it reminded me of the yeah. Undertaker. I know it was crazy. That was crazy. But if you look at it, he was down for more than 10 yeah, I was seconds. To, I was just about to say that. I think it was still yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah, it was more than 10 Yeah, I've seen a lot of things on Instagram that they say like he had something in his glove. Yeah. And I One hear about this over. I looked at it, but I mean, I don't think he had anything in his gloves, but. I don't know. I, I saw, think the way you put it on, I think it. it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, like, does that, that really matter? Yeah, the way you put it on. You, it's no. It's a little bit of padding up here. Down here is like no padding. So what happens? He just like slips it off during the fight so he can wax someone. Probably if he did so. Oh, that's crazy. So I kind of tried it a little bit. Not like, like, like I hit somebody. Yeah, to see how yeah. It, worked. it was like experiment. Like, uh huh. What, what was it? it? You could just actually feel. You just feel like the hand more. Uh, wouldn't it yeah. hurt you as well though? Yeah. Did you do yeah, the, did did you hit the bag yeah. like that? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So maybe he's got maybe he's used to it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't want to risk breaking. But I don't my think wrist it's, my I don't hand. think it's anything cheating because it's kinda like Nate Diaz with you know him with his hand open, like kind of slapping people or actively. Yeah. A Stockton them. slap. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna tell you when I became a fan, I'm a fan of a Tyson right. Fury though, when um the, the rematch. Mm. And uh, Wilder walked out with all this yeah. stuff on. It this shit just looked heavy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is he doing? And then the way he fought, I was like, Yeah. I was yeah, like, he, he was, You're not into he the costume coming out like a knight. No, no, or samurai. I like that. It's just I, a, he just had something like heavy, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, type I liked of, it. Yeah. I like, yeah, it was dope. It was, don't get me wrong, but I was like, was it was it worth it? Like, can you get something lightweight? Mm-hmm. Something like that. A little yeah. something better. Yeah. yeah. How, how are you even training for this fight? Because it's on the it's on the Jake Paul card. It's in Dallas. How how you train for a fight like this? All we do is see knockouts. We've been watching your knockouts for an hour. I think it's kind of just uh, the sparring, sparring that I get, um, and then just practicing on certain moves um, that that I you know see and imagine a fighter doing. Because um, majority of times when I'm honestly in the ring, like. Like I could watch film like all I want on a fighter, but once I get in the ring, it's like always a totally different fight. Like I think I don't know if my presence or my stance like throw them off a little bit, but like Are you a southpaw? Um I could go southpaw as well, but I'm orthodox originally. Oh damn. Um but once once I'm standing in front of them, it's like a whole different ball game. So I think that's probably what where the knockouts come because I, I make sure I time it in and pinpoint the shots. So that's what we work on for real. I'm always trying to pinpoint the shots and stick it to you know certain places. How your dad training you again? You knock all these people out and he's a football player. <laughs> <laughs> you know? How that makes sense? I think I told you, you were telling you last time, like yeah. when we used to go to different camps and stuff, like Floyd and Pacquiao, and um, and I think he just watched himself, but just picking up on different things. Wow, he's smart. Dude. Yeah, so um, I guess just picking up on different things and putting other things outside of the box, where he just kind of thought would would be nice. Man, or something. I'm seeing if your dad trained my son some boxing. <laughs> right. He ain't listening to me. He might well listen to somebody else's dad. <laughs> Have you seen this dude knock? Let me show you this. Show me some of his Let me show this video. But that ain't no knockout. Oh, that was a knockout. Look at this. And I, and I think the is best one? is Snoop's commentary. Oh, yeah. Like, it head, head movement's oh, yeah. insane. He got to step <laughs> over him. Head movement's insane. Everything's And then he just does the gritty. And the minions. <laughs> uh-huh. I thought he pulled a hamstring. <laughs> that was a part of the little, uh, uh, little trend. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's crazy. What, what's up with the minion shorts? Uh, I think that was, that was just one of my favorite movies. As, well, it's still one is one of my favorite movies. Man, he's still uh, a kid, man. Yeah. I know what. I, 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 that's what what sucks for getting knocked out by a kid or a kid wearing a minion <laughs> shorts? <laughs> man, right. nineteen. I think my underwear I got on older than you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, the, the knockout power is crazy. I think that's the craziest thing to that's be 19 crazy. and have knockout power. I mean, you, you've been fine your whole life. What's it take to have that type of power? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, my son don't want me to tell my secret of where I get my knockout power from. Uh, but I got big legs and a big ass. Yeah. But I don't, you look like you thin. What, what weight class you fight? 35. Yeah, man. It's like, it's it's just in him. It's just like, you know, I got a bit of a, a little truck down here. Yeah. Oh yeah, not because because yeah. the knockout power comes from your, your legs. legs. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, this will come from your legs and, and your and your quads. Like you see, like a lot of my um, punches and stuff. Like it'll be a quick like hip movement, leg movements, and stuff like that. That that's where it produces all the uh-huh. power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it come from your arms. Uh, no, no it comes from your, it comes from. So, your so legs. how do you train for that? 
<laughs> yeah. I don't think we want. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to get that away, man. That's 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 millions yeah. of dollars worth. So that that's the secret. Yeah, it's yeah. the secret, man. I got. I, I, that is part of it. That's one big yeah. part of it. Your legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's crazy because all all your sparring, all your training's done in Long Beach at Jackrabbits at your gym. Yeah, majority of times. Yeah, if we with, if with we your dad as a trainer. Yeah. Uh huh. You know that how to hold mitts. Yeah. yeah, he don't know how to hold mitts. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know how to hold mitts either. Yeah. I think. Oh. Bro, don't it's, it's, different, it's different from, you know, being a fighter and, yeah. a, and a coach. Don't ever learn. You know why I never learned how to hold mitts? Uh-huh. Because one of my coaches told me he, he has elbow problems. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, yeah, because yeah, all that. Yeah. That's, that's two fighters I met that don't know how to hold mitts. Yeah, fuck off. I don't know how to hold mitts either, but I ain't a fighter. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen, you, I've seen you hit mitts. Yeah, I hit mitts. Uh-huh. But you never, you never got the mitts to try to learn? Nah, I can't figure it out. It's too fast. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I watched this video of Floyd. I'll pull it up. I don't even know if he's even hitting the mitts, but the guy moving the mitts moves just as fast as Floyd. Like, how do you even remember where to go, where to hit? Like, I don't understand it. It's like a whole science. Can I, can I say something that I'm a little embarrassed about, but fuck it, you know, I'm going to put it out there. I, I think I'm a little bit um, dyslexic mm-hmm. because um, when I'm watching fights, yeah, and so that's why I never be a commentator. I can't tell left and right. Mm. You know that's what I'm saying? Good, yeah. yeah, I can't tell. Like, I can't tell. Is that a left hand or right hand? I can't. I see two people and one of them is a southpaw. I'm like, which one's a southpaw? They got to tell me yeah, which yeah. one's a southpaw. And my son's a southpaw. So how, how is it when you was fighting? I ain't, I just did what they said. I just did yeah. what they said. You know? Listen to your coaches. Yeah, yeah, I just listen to my coaches do what they said, you know? But, mm-hmm. but you know, I, I know my left and my right. Yeah. But, yeah. They, but if they saying like, all right, you got to watch out for his right for his right hand, I'm like, okay, whose side is going to come on? That's you crazy. Know? That was me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's... That's the weirdest thing. That's why. That's one yeah. thing I, I can't hold. I, I'm. I don't know left and right. Uh, when I'm when it's mirrored. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I was like, like as of right now, like if I'm standing right here, it's kind of yeah, hard. To it's kind of it's kind of hard. But now you know, if I really think about it, that's your right hand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, I guess it's really think about yeah, it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just know yeah. It. yeah. I'm. A, I'm. A, I always assume that that's your right hand. Mm-hmm. And because it's on your right side. Because yeah, because I'm. I'm a little bit just just yeah. slightly because I know that when I read. Uh-huh. And um, I can read really well and stuff like that, but sometimes I'll be reading and then I read a sentence that's all the way down, bottom. all the way at the bottom, and I'm and I'm not even there yet. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's and, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just how your mind works. Yeah, I, I mean, see even numbers, with yeah, training. Yeah, yeah, I see numbers and like some like I see numbers out of order. Yeah, I mean, did that affect your training? No, that didn't. That didn't it never. Like you find in a southpaw, yeah. you. Oh, I hated fighting southpaw, and that's probably why I hated fighting <laughs> southpaw. I always hated fighting southpaw. Yeah, I can imagine. Does it matter to you? Um, it's it's a little different. Um, mm-hmm. I like being a southpaw fighting orthodox. To be honest, it's a big advantage. Yeah, it's just I don't know. It's something about it. Kind of, I, I don't know. I still haven't found out what kind of what it is, but it's, it is kind of a little bit harder to fight like a southpaw if you're in an orthodox sense. So if you fight a southpaw, will you turn southpaw as well? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Sometimes. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you could just switch up like that mid fight. Mm-hmm. It don't affect you. Mm-mm. That's a talent, bro. That's a yeah. talent. That's that's yeah. got to be crazy for yeah. the game plan. Yeah, how you defend? Like me, I try to I try to cause I train in a body shop sometimes with Tony Yomi mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and they all a lot of those guys are southpaw and and they fight both both right. Both way. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, so I try to do it like them sometimes, but I can't defend in southpaw. Is yeah, it, it's it's kind of sometimes my leg like it kind of is one against planet. Like I said, if it's in um, orthodox, but I think as long, long as you just practice, 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 you kind of get used to it. Yeah, you get used. to Yeah. It. That's how it was for me, because when I first started, it was kind of a little bit weird. Like, it was hard for me to throw a jab. I could throw everything else, but a jab was, like, off. Yeah. I, I don't know if I should believe that saying I can't show old dog new tricks, but, you know, I'd be the old dog in the gym, and I'd be trying to go southpaw on something. I just I just gave up after a while. <laughs> oh, you don't even try it? I don't even try it no more. Yeah. But, but do you still like train it. boxing? Yeah, I still I still train boxing. I got My boxing coach lives in the U.K. I go out there, or I have him come out here. Cause I really like training with him, but... But um, I still I, I love boxing. I still want to do at least one boxing yeah, match. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, what do you do a, a boxing yeah. match? I want to do one before I get too old. I want to mm-hmm. do one, at least one. Two. Yeah. Huh? You want Tyson Fury? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I fight him for the right amount of money, <laughs> but not for my first fight. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's that'd be kind of crazy. But they, hey, I tell you what, they give me fifteen, twenty million. Yeah, I fight Tyson Fury and his mom at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who would be a good fight for you? Shannon Briggs. Oh my, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Shannon we got Briggs. pops in the corner, bro. Yeah. I've been that trying would be a good to fight, bro. I've been trying to line up that fight. Cause look, think about this. Shannon, he's bigger than me. He a uh-huh. champ. He's a champ. Uh huh. But he's like 50, 51 years old. I know. I'm forty five. I know. Yeah. It's, so it's like an even match. It's, it's, it's like because of the age, yeah, right? Yeah. It'd be a good fight, right? Uh-huh. He knows how to throw hands, though. I know, but I'm thinking that. I mean, 
Yeah, you I, know how to throw hands too. Yeah, I like that. I like this kid. Yeah, but you gotta be perfect. But you know? Shannon smokes weed every day, all day now. Yeah, you know, I take him in deep water. Yeah, he's got to use his advantage, whatever it is. Dog, yeah. what it, but what's the advantage? Cardio. Yeah, my advantage is going to be cardio, and he—he's not going to—he's—he's going—he's not going to respect my boxing. Because you, you know, you I don't got, got the it. head movement. Mm-hmm. I don't got a, I don't do all. I don't got all the mm-hmm. skills that you guys got. Yeah. I don't got all the footwork and uh-huh. stuff like that. But I, I like to think that my defense is really good. And you know, I've never been dropped with a body shot, oh, even nice. in practice. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking that even like, even like, you know, uh, he come at me. You yeah. know, they go try to work uh-huh. me down to the body and stuff mm-hmm. like that. He's gonna be wasting his yeah. time. And most, he's bigger than you, so it's gonna be if he come down there, he's at your level. He's now. at my level. So I think I got a lot of advantage because he's gonna he's gonna underestimate me. Yeah, but he, he got hands. Yeah. Yeah. Man, That's hey, what he do, guys. Hey, hey, you rich as fuck. Won't you have Jackson put that shit? Put <laughs> Shannon that, McKinnon brings for yeah, rampage. Yeah, yeah. Put it on at your at your, hey, at your, at your, at your I love I was in the UK. I was in the UK with him when he was uh with Jake Paul. Uh-huh. When Jake Paul was fighting like he used to train Jake Paul. Uh, yeah, something like that. He was always there. Oh, but he loud, he always yelling, Let's go champ. <laughs> he running around the gym. Let's go, champ! In and out of everything. I, do you ever see that video of him run up on Klitschko? Yeah, like a yeah, yeah. I would have smacked the shit out of his I don't know how Klitschko. That, that had to be saying Klitschko had to be yeah. in on that shit, <laughs> right? I, I see right. the table over, bro. I see, yeah, yeah. yeah, I seen him. I seen Klitschko out in the water or something. He coming out <laughs> in the water. I'm like, come on, this shit had to be saying. <laughs> They had him say. Then Klitschko beat his ass. Then, yep, uh-huh. then you ain't see him fuck with Klitschko no more after that. <laughs> hey. hey, but for real though, have you ever been to his his paintball park? You mm-hmm. been, you been Bro, yeah, not before I knew him though. Yeah, before yeah, you, knew, but, you, knew uh, you haven't been. Yeah, the whole Long Beach right there, Bellflower Hollywood. Oh yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. Man, that's the best place to fucking yeah. around here. That's yeah. not a, this is land for me. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, it's pretty fun. I be trying to shoot people in the asshole. Pop, pop. Someone shot me in the back of the head. I got, I got, I got the craziest story about this dude. Oh yeah. I was, uh, I was throwing like a like a celebrity VIP day uh-huh. a long time ago, and he uh, he was still training every day. I think you were in Bellator still. Probably uh, Bellator yeah. UFC one. I can't remember. I don't remember, time but ago. you were fighting. And I had Andre Drummond there, and I had Tyrone Woodley was there, mm-hmm. a bunch of other people there, a bunch of basketball players, Ben Simmons, and uh, Rampage went to go play his first game of paintball yeah. with, like, all these kids and all these girls. I had all these, like, influencers and models out there, mm-hmm. and he was, like, having fun with everybody, and he got shot. He's walking off the field, and someone shot his hand, and then he put his hand up, and someone shot his hand again, oh, and yeah, then they bro. just destroyed him for <laughs> yeah. no reason. Bro. Uh, yeah, that's what happened to me when, when someone got me out. Yeah. My hands, I just kept shooting. So yeah. everybody knew who he was, and yeah. the door, we were, like, in a VIP room. <laughs> he walks in the VIP room. He closes the door. <laughs> he turns on the lights. Everybody's in there kind of freaking out because he looks pissed like how he does right now. Bro. And he goes, he throws his gun on the floor. He goes, that's it. Who shot me? Stand up right now. Y'all want to get it? We get it right now. And everybody the same freaked thing. out because they were like, all right, this guy really wants to kill someone. Yeah, bro. Then he told the referee, don't you open that door right now to figure out who shot me. So no one moved. And I thought he was going to strangle someone. So I get a code red. Yo, code red. We got rampage in the room I'd freaking out. Him. I'd yeah. respect him. I was going to, you know what my mind was? I'm going to beat everybody ass. Until someone say something. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Make sure. But out of respect, I said, I don't want to do that. It was crazy. They code red. We got rampage in the room. He's freaking out. He's going to kill someone. I said, let him do what he want to do. Do not get involved. He'll <laughs> kill you, too. Me. Bro, they shot me. I had my head. They shot me in the yeah, head. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. They, they shot yeah. me in my head. They kept shooting me. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what, though. Same thing we just did with Randy, Randy Couture. Bring, you know. You know I, need, I need to bring him out. Bring him out. I want to. I want to. I want to squash the beef. I want to squash the beef. The he last guy. Last they guy don't hurt bro. bro. Yeah, it was baiting. But my thing is. I didn't know which one. It was a couple. It was a. It was a big group. I didn't know which one it was. They had yeah, you know, stuff uh-huh. on their face. Yeah, they, I know he was tall. He was one of the basketball players. <laughs> that dude's like six six. Rampage comes off the field. He's just staring at everybody. I'm like, all right. Like, why do why do yeah, shit like yeah, that? Why yeah. do, I'm already like got shot. Like, why uh-huh. do that? And and them paintballs yeah. hurt. Yeah, it's, 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 I was. I would have shot him in his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you were friends with a lot of fighters, like training. You train with people that you know going into a fight, or do you kind of keep it private? Like, you don't want people to know. I feel like MMA is crazy because everybody trains together. Well, you know, yeah, you know, um, I fought Dan Henderson for the um, United, you know, the, the United belt, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and uh, I used to train with him a lot. I I used to help Dan Henderson uh, prepare for his fights, and I don't know why I used to train with him because we was like the same weight class <laughs> and we was fighting. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I didn't, I don't know why we think I was ever going to fight him. Yeah, that's but, it, same here. Yeah, you know, I haven't fought no one yet, but yeah, yeah. I, some, I you spar with a lot of people you train like. Mm-hmm. But that you're gonna end up fighting one day? Possibly, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 How, how do you figure that out? Like, how do you figure out who you're gonna spar against? 
Uh, I mean, my dad pretty much set it up, but we have like, you know, the gym is pretty big. And a lot of people come down just to get sparring and uh, want to learn. So they come. And um, usually you want to spar something around your weight class, uh, sometimes a little bigger dependent, but majority of the times you want to spar something around your weight class. And um, and that's that's just how it is. And if they go to a different gym or if they meet your level, you probably end up fighting them. What's up with this this video footage I saw circulating the internet of you you knocking someone out like at sparring? Someone was talking about you in an interview. Y'all posted some footage. Oh, you t- uh, I did not go. I think you talking about Sean Porter. Yeah, you put in the work about, on some yeah. kid. Let's go, like, break that down. You heard this? No, no, oh, it's like crazy. Like, yeah. Uh, so it was like, uh, I sparred him like when I was like 16, 15 years old um, in Vegas at the gym. Uh, so we went, um, sparred him, this and that. Then we came back. So we record the uh, record, we record all our uh, sparring. But for us to like to always watch and study, like to this day, we still kind of watch and see, you know, we, like film, you know. Um, so then uh, recently, like on this podcast, I, he started a podcast and he was just saying like, um, basically, basically say like he whipped my ass and like, mm. just, you know, just saying like. You had the receipts though. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. Like, why, like really, like kind of why would you say something? Like you could have said something, <laughs> uh, something like at least be able to keep it neutral kind yeah, of, you know. Yeah. But he like, kinda, I did good. I spotted him. Yeah, music. yeah. But he said he beat your ass. Yeah. And then, you, then you showed the receipts. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. So that's what happened. Basically, so he was yeah. talking loud. Y'all just released it. Yeah. I get I get a, a text message at 6 a.m. They go, yo, he dropped the footage. I'm like, of what? I don't even know what was going on. <laughs> he dropped the footage. The internet was going crazy. Yeah. Man, what's your Instagram? I'm going to follow you. I'm, I'm, I'm a Let's fan. See. I'm a fan now. Oh. And, uh, one of the main reasons I'm a fan, not only because you knock people out all the time, because you and your dad got a really good relationship. And I wish Thank me and my you. ugly ass son. <laughs> But you know what, honestly, real talk though, my son is going through a, a, a lot of stuff. He he lost his mom like a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. His mom was murdered. And, That's crazy. And, and, I hear that. No, I know. It's, it, you know, me and her wasn't together in anything, but you know, it's still, still yeah, sad. Yeah, and, yeah. and and you know how, how it is. My mom's still living. Mm-hmm. And, and it's just like anybody that get taken from you like mm-hmm. that is going to change you. Yeah, right? definitely. And, and, but my thing is, I don't know how to help him out. You know, in black folks, we don't really be doing therapy and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so if right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should, he, he grew up right. here in Orange County. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so pretty good. he might not be black on the inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I might need to take him to yeah, some therapy. Like, I always feel like therapy is good for anybody. Like, yeah. you know, it's always good to talk to somebody, no matter what it is. That's, like, that's even, what I do. Like, not even like, you don't have to go to a professional therapy. Like, someone that you would like to talk to that you, you think is is um, a good like mentor or something yeah. to him. Like it would be good for him to yeah. just hang around. Talk. You know what though, but my son though, he, I think he needs professional because he's a uh, he's a manipulator. Like he's the type of person that would tell you what he thinks you want to hear. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, re- he's, really, he's really good at that. And he, you know, he got caught doing mushrooms, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I don't deal with drugs, you know, yeah. so I never really did. We was on drugs I ever tried my whole life. I don't deal with drugs. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was trying to say that all the mushrooms is good for me. And he really wanted me to believe. I was like, I was like, son, you you training for your first pro fight? How is mushrooms good for you? How are they gonna How are they gonna help right. you? Maybe if, sometimes it hits you with a reset. Sometimes it resets you a little bit. But I don't know nothing about it. But maybe if you microdose. Yeah, I mean everybody microdoses now. I feel like the thing with mushrooms now, like with the way psilocybin's going, is that people are using alternative met medicines and alternative kind of like solutions instead of having to take pills or prescription. Right, right. And it's things that they can kind of control, and it's in small dosages. Everybody's different. I don't. I don't do mushrooms. I don't. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Mm-hmm. I, I just work twenty four seven. But I mean, some people try to cope with things differently. I like yeah. what you just said. Like, I feel like people do need to talk though. I yeah. feel one of the biggest things is people are scared to open up because they yeah. think it's going to make them mm-hmm. vulnerable or or look weak. And as fighters, people don't want to look weak. Right. So I feel like that's right. the biggest thing in uh-huh. fighting. People need to be able to express themselves so they get it off their chest. Right. I agree. Yeah. No, I love yeah, it. But yeah, hopefully they you find something. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. You know what? I'm going to look into some 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 therapy and mm-hmm. try to get some therapy. Did you ever talk to anybody when you were fighting? No, you know what? I saw this one. Um, let me see. After after I got knocked out by Vandalay, um, I was gun shy for, for for a couple of, for a long time until I fought Chuck. Mm-hmm. I was uh, in in the UFC. I was gun shy, and I saw this. Um, this one sports psychiatrist, and I, I liked him. I thought he was helping me, and I, and I, and I was seeing him until he asked me to, to promote him. Oh, and I was like, man, yeah. I don't want nobody know what I'm seeing yeah, you because yeah, yeah. yeah, that's just, a little weird. He because he told me he said, yeah, I've seen a couple of MMA fighters. And I was like, oh, who are these? Oh, uh, I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
What? Why are you people put yourself? Yeah, yeah. So I ain't never seen nobody. Yeah, yeah. He said they, he said they're famous, uh-huh. famous. So I'm guessing like Randy Couture. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing these fighters who he's seen. He said, yeah, they're pretty big name. They're champion. He, he said all that, but and I said I ain't never seen no in it. Nobody. When he asked me to promote him, yeah, like, some of that stuff's better to keep private. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm like, why are you yeah. why are you asking me to promote? That's him? kind of like your piece, right? Yeah, there, yeah. You know? yeah. How do you how do you prepare for a fight? Do anything get your mind right? Um, kind of bit. Like I said, I kind of still try to keep myself as like here. I keep myself fun. So whatever it is, like if I'm on Netflix, YouTube, um, something I honestly don't like running. About the same time I do, like if it's a nice scenery, like I was gonna say that too. Like if you like running. Uh, sometimes that like for your mind a bit, you know, like yeah. especially like a summer, you just go run down by the beach and just kind of just clear your mind. Yeah. Um, but just stuff like that, um, play the game, just certain mm-hmm. things, everything you do. I mean, I just recently um, um, enrolled myself back into college, so um, that's another thing, kind of keep me a little occupied. And, online class, mm-hmm. you online, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to do a bit in class, but for now, until I figure like how the schedule and everything works for me, but. Uh, just even college, like what, I just started. What are you studying in college? Right, right now I'm doing the regular uh, courses, so just mm. English for now. But mm. then uh, you, you don't you don't know how to speak English? <laughs> <laughs> no, those, those I think those requirements or whatever they call uh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Something, something like that. But yeah, <laughs> the basic gotta, college requirements. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to do like one to two years. But yeah. I know that's weird. Yeah, yeah. That's like weird. you already did all the twelve years of that. Like, yeah. like man, I've been speaking English for right. nineteen years. Right. I'm like, why? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. You're going into probably one of the biggest fights of your career on one of the biggest stages. Yeah. This Nate yeah. Diaz, Jake Paul card is uh-huh. going to be huge. Yeah. Well, so you, the main event? The co-main uh, event? I think the under the co-main event. All right. The, under, yeah, under. the civil fight I was co-main event. This one. Oh, for real? Yeah. You was on that card? With the minions. I had to act the That was a fight. Minions. Hold on, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been punched a little bit too much. I think I, I, think I probably saw that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, I remember I DM'd it to you. I was like, yo, this kid, we got to get him on Jackson. He, yeah. he, he next. He, he a superstar. Right. But yeah, so uh, I was going to come into that card. Uh, and then, um, but yeah, now this one, I think it's going to be either Coleman or the one right up under it. Um, but it's going it's to be wild. Yeah. So I think, I don't know if you know Jake's, uh, the girl that, that he signed, uh, Amanda, but yeah, she's like pretty popular, you know. Yeah, she's pretty, insane. Yeah, she's a yeah. boxer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's She's, she's fighting her too? Uh huh. Yeah. So it's going to be. How she look though? <laughs> yeah. She was pretty good. She, she, she like one of the she like one of the best boxers. Hey, he just wanna know how the girls look. <laughs> yeah. You must have you must have been a problem after your fights. Oh man. Man, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something. MMA in America is whack. Yeah. So when I was fighting in Japan, uh-huh. MMA was was it was like what? it was on the level of maybe uh, I would say like uh football or something here. Mm-hmm. Like you, yeah, it was popular, man. Like we had groupies. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna yeah, keep it that's kind of uh, like going over to UK. That's how I feel like it is for boxing. Like whenever yeah. I go over to UK, they're like they're like groupies. Yeah, they're like groupies, bro. You had I, 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 I'm, I, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the bro, wrong. Bro, after the fights <laughs> in, in 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 Japan, you had girls waiting for you in, in the, at the hotel lobby. Mm-hmm. Girls waiting, but most of the times I always had like a girlfriend, so I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Most of, but one time I went, I used to see this one group. I'm swear most almost all fighters hit it because she was she was bad. <laughs> she was bad. But one so time, everybody got a piece. I think so. Oh would, no! I, I, listen, I would assume because she was she was that bad. Normally, I don't want no girl that's been passed around. Yeah. But I don't know for sure if yeah. anybody been. So I don't right. know for sure. I ain't never asked her. Yeah. But she caught me at the right time. I ain't had no girlfriend <laughs> at this time, so it was like. I was coming back. I was coming back from um, drinking after the fight, mm-hmm. and she was there. And uh, she said, uh, "She asked me, said, so Rampage, no girlfriend? I'm like, nah, no, <laughs> I don't got no girlfriend. Because every time I used to see in the hotel, I was at my girlfriend with yeah, me, yeah. and she just waved. I waved. She said, oh, no girlfriend? I'm like, nah, no girlfriend. She's like, oh, you wanna, you want me to come up to the room and talk? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, come on up and talk. <laughs> Man, she was bad. She that's, was bad. I would imagine that's how it goes after a fight, especially as you get more and more popular. It yeah. just gets crazy and crazier. But yeah. a lot of distractions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. see a lot of these pro fighters. That's where they get most of the uh-huh. trouble at home. Yeah, in athlete yeah. though, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. In it's just, athlete. It's just a release because after the, you just want to, you, you know, you like train so hard, and you, it's like a celebration. Mm-hmm. And, and most and most athletes, like we, I like to say, we like the alphas of the of the men. We like we just like to get rid of that, just that little, <laughs> you know, the little, the little built up energy. Yeah, the little built up energy. It's nothing personal. It's nothing right. personal. I just want to get rid of. It. Oh, I love it. And as you coming up in the game, I've been watching you for a few years. It's exciting, especially yeah. exciting to have you here on his first episode, Fade on Sight. Thank you again. Yeah. It's good. We got a lot. We got a lot of exciting things going on here, and I think one of the cool things is is that you get to dive in and see like new fighters and different content yeah. of fighters and different sides of them. You yeah, know? and now I'm a fan of them. I follow them on Instagram. I'm um, 
you know, make sure I be watching. What, what day is your fight? August 5th. August 5th. 5th. Yeah. August 5th. Yeah, yeah I'll be just getting back from Japan. I'll be okay. just getting on my jet lag. I'll be watching. Is this a Saturday? Yep. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to be checking it out. Thank you all for joining. Fade on site. We're going to be back next time with some more exciting content. Y'all know how we do. Come on. Me and Bird getting down. Then we got H2O over here for the first show. Yes, sir. I hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs>